fundamental concepts it is prime importance to that if you understand the mechanics so there are number of terms or we can say a concepts that is used frequently in a mechanics that is required to understand in proper manner so we start uh, with a uh, concept number 1 that is a uh, space so space we generally observe that it is a region so if we understand the space so there are a uh, sun stars planets our earth is that is including into that uh, region so that's why in mechanics space is a region that uh, in all directions and that contains everything within it so in other word if we define that it is a uh, uh, with a uh, unlimited expanse of physical dimensions in which all material objects are located if we considered uh, any body let us say uh, any body available in a space region and we want to locate that body so the position of a body in a space that is determined with respect to uh, some reference system so with this reference system we can identify this is the proper location of their body because space is a very wide region so this uh, position location is very much defined by a uh, respect to the reference now if we take an example so when we have a number of aircrafts so the position of an aircraft that is uh, in space is generally determined with respect to the earth if you take a second example so the position of an object on earth itself uh, uh, it is determined with respect to some situation or the some point on the earth by taking a linear or a angular measurements so this is all about uh, space now we take a second one that concept is a uh, time so time everybody knows we generally go through with this term number of times in a day but what actually the time means so time is nothing but it is a measure between a two successive events let us say a is a event and a b is a event so what is the time gap between these two if i tell you that if you start your journey from your home up to your school or a college so you start your journey from the home to the school there will be a time lag so for starting event is a and the completing event or we can say the second starting event is b so between that there will be a time lag so that is generally known as a difference between a successive event that is a, and the measure of that that is known as a time in other words if we take a it is defined as a measure of a successive events and a si unit if we talk about so that is measured in a second right this is a si unit of our time the time is generally measured in a second so second is nothing but a fraction of uh, average solar day and that fraction is with 1 by 86400 so this much fraction of a uh, average solar day that is generally called a second second is equal to this much and uh, the second is generally to be considered as a uh, equal to the 
it is very wide figure six three one seven seven zero cycles so this much cycles of uh, radiation emitted by a celsium atom as it makes a transition between the two lowest energy state so second is also equal to this so whenever this cycle is completed this equal to the second that we considered in our mechanics now third thing that we take that is a matter no matter is a only not a new type of thing but uh, matter is uh, any substance which occupies uh, some space that requires some space to or the for the availability of that that is called a uh, matter now in the other word we can also identify that a uh, substance that possesses a uh, weight so substance has a weight also that occupies uh, some space and that can be apprehended by a uh, some sense so that type of thing that we generally called as a matter so every uh, body we can see in our surround that is called a matter furthermore we have another concept that we considered as a body so likewise from the matter uh, any matter that is bounded with a closed boundary or the closed surface that is called a body right so any substance that is available in the quantum uh, but we just identify with the matter but when we bound with some boundary that is converted into a, a body and it is the portion of a matter which uh, is limited in every direction and the body is generally considered as an accumulation of a large number of particles so there are number of particles that will form a body and uh, generally due to that uh, accumulation of the particles that particles form a different type of surfaces and out of that surfaces that body will form so whatever the things we have we have a table chair a car earth etc that is a uh, one complete body that we can say next one that we take uh, is very important concept and very important in uh, mechanics that is a uh, inertia so inertia that is generally a property by virtue of which a body offers some resistance to any change of its state of rest or a motion that is uh, generally called uh, inertia so inertia is in maybe depending on the geometrical direction or the geometry of the body so that is in particular direction there will be a different inertia is there so that is nothing but uh, such type of the resistance so whatever the uh, pressure or whatever the force or whatever the entity that you provide on a body so body will definitely react in a uh, form of the resistance that is generally called uh, inertia after that uh, we have another one that is a prime requirement for the resistance of a body so that is a mass so the quantity of matter possessed by a body that is generally called a mass of that particular body and it is a quantitative measure of inertia so in other word we say that it is uh, defined as a quantitative measure of just a resistance that offered by any substance to 
the change of its position. Let's we take one example based on that. So let's take uh, two identical blocks of the same size and uh, shape. Now you can push these blocks on a identical surface by applying some force. So you can apply some force here and this one apply some force here and uh, that both the forces are in with uh, equal magnitude and in the same direction. So just we observe that the wooden block. So here we take this block is of a wooden and this block is of a steel, right? So generally it is with a different material. Material is somewhat differ. Now we apply some force on that block. So what happened that after observation, this block will try to move faster. That will be a very much faster than this. This is very much slower with the application of the similar type of the forces. Now it generally shows that a block with a steel material that poses a higher mass than the block with a wooden material. So there will be a block poses a greater inertia and that will be move very less compared to the other one. So it shows that the inertial property of a steel block that is very high so due to the mass of the particular block. Now if you go furthermore, so the another concept that is required to understand that is uh, very much easy but it is a rest. So whenever, whenever we considered any body and that uh, to be said that it is in a rest. So when it does not change any position with respect to uh, any reference. Uh, between a different interval of time so that we call the rest condition example if you take a car that is uh, parked at a garage so there will be no movement with respect to the time of that particular car so that condition is generally known as the rest condition opposite to other if you take uh, another concept that is a uh, motion so it, it is nothing but the, the opposite to the rest. So whenever the body it is in a motion, so it changes its position with respect to the time. What we can say also with respect to the point at the different interval of the time. So that is called a motion position or that is called the body in a motion. So if we take an example of any moving car on a road that is a particular example of a motion. So this is all about uh, fundamental concepts.